Today marked the second day of threats to schools throughout the Bay State and locally. Thanks for joining us, everyone, on this Tuesday. Welcome to Western Mass News at 10 on Fox 6. I'm Chris Pisano. All the school threats were determined to be hoaxes, and now we're hearing responses from local officials. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson joins us live in studio with more on that. Maria. Chris, for the second day in a row, local and state police responded to more than a dozen schools throughout the state, including in Chicopee and in Springfield, that have received threats, all of which turned out to be unfounded. I have so many emotions right now. My heart is racing. Um, my thoughts are just going, obviously, to the places where I don't want them to go. The Ameris Mateo had two sons in the building during Tuesday's lockdown at Chicopee High School. This after police received a call Tuesday morning about threats made on Chicopee High School. The school was put into a lockdown and police secured the area. The threats later determined to be a hoax. One of a string of similar incidents taking place throughout the Bay State since Monday. Springfield, Greenfield, and Great Barrington also received similar swatting threats. And with the recent pattern of swatting incidences, Western Mass News spoke with one local school district about their protocols. Vito Perone is the interim superintendent at West Springfield Public Schools. He says the school district works all year round to plan and train for emergencies. Times like these, when there are these uh, swatting uh, hoaxes that are going on, we just remind everybody to keep our protocols in place err on the side of safety, making sure that we're keeping everybody in a place that's uh, vigilant and aware and safe. West Springfield schools regularly train teachers and staff and also run drills with students periodically to prepare for any threats. We have safety plans that are every year uh, reviewed, revised and uh, put back into place. We have uh, trainings for our teachers, for our students. We do uh, drills all the time. Perone tells us communication is a key component of their readiness plan. Western Mass News also reached out to multiple agencies for their response to the situation. Spokesperson for the FBI's Boston Division, Kristen Cetera, telling us in a statement, quote, law enforcement is going to use all available resources to investigate a school threat until we determine whether or not it is real. Investigating hoax threats drains law enforcement resources and diverts us from responding to actual crisis. Massachusetts Teacher Association also commenting on the recent events, telling us in a statement, quote, our students and educators have the right to learn and work in a safe environment without fear or intimidation. Even though they have proven to be hoaxes, the recent string of threats targeting public schools cannot be tolerated. As these incidences are investigated, MTA members will continue to do their part to promote safe and nurturing schools. Perone says events like these are often scary for teachers, students, and their families. But people should know that the school districts work hard to prepare for emergencies. They're going to see in the news that this swatting stuff is going on. They're going to hear about those things. And we just try to reassure people that we have plans in place to deal with them. The, Mass the Massachusetts State Police say they are still investigating the origins of these hoaxes at this time. Reporting live in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News.